Hello again, fellow friends, and welcome back to this. Doing some casual matches on Mortal Kombat 11. Pardon me, with your boy Harpalap. I'm going to be using Baraka to start things off, and we will see how things go, shall we? If it'll find an opponent. After my absolutely atrocious uh, season three in the Combat League, I managed to get, I managed to reach Demigod a few days, like five days ago, I think. I managed to reach Demigod, which which pleased me and annoyed me, because when season one happened, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get to Demigod and stop. And then after that, I realized, oh, maybe I could have carried on and gotten God ranks. And then season two, I tried, and I was doing well in season two, got up to Demigod, no problem, and then really had troubles. I just, and it wasn't just a case of, oh, because I th there's more opportunities to lose points when you get up to Demigod. It, I was just being really, really bad. Um, and then that, and then that really annoyed me. And then that carried over to the beginning of Season 3. And I was really bad at the beginning of Season 3. And then I was really bad at, like, around the middle of Season 3 as well. But I managed to plug away, sort of, kind of near the end. And I, I managed to make it up to Demigod. And I was like, God damn it, man. That's two seasons in a row where I'm like, I want to hit God rank. And then just couldn't. And I was like, God damn it. So, yay, I made it to Demigod. So I've got consistent Demigod on all three seasons. But that's, hooray, Demigod, you know. This is how easy it is to get to Demigod, right? I, not once in Season 3, not once did I have more wins than losses. Not once. I always had more losses than wins, and I still got to Demigod. That's... Any monkey with a controller can get to Demigod. Like, I don't know. I shouldn't say that, because there are... Because, like, I mean, maybe... Whatever. You know, it's just... Getting to Demigod's no big deal for me. In, in the first season, it was. I was like, oh, Demigod's pretty cool. Then I realized it's not. Because most people who, who show off their, their combat card thing got to god rank. And I'm like, oh, got loads of people got to god rank. Demigod's nothing, was my mentality. But obviously, like, I'm from this... I'm, I, I, I'm speaking from my position of, of, of my level of skill, which apparently is shit anyway. But there are people who, who like, I don't know, haven't put as much time into to getting better at the game. And to them, game, and to them Demigod may be an, uh, an awesome achievement. But not for me. Not really. Oh, get out of that, son! Hmm, escape failed, okay. Man, I love- I love Kotal Kahn! No, I don't. I hate, I hate fighting Kotal Kahn. I hate fighting Collector. I hate fighting Jade. I hate fighting Scarlet. Do your crushing blow, come on. Yes, he wasted it. He totally did not need to do that. Totally didn't. All right, let's do this. Zlee, it, it is a Zlee that whatever I did was going to get interrupted with whatever he did. I'm genuinely amazed I was able to block that projectile because I was holding down and block when I was in the air. I'm amazed that worked as well. Get over to the corner, please. Thank you. Yes. Get screwed or skewered. Oh yes, crushing blow. I love that crushing blow. Oh come on, boom! That's that's a better round. Let's go. Let's fucking go, Kodal Khan. Let's go. Come at me with your sword. Come on, he's not going to. He's gonna do his little sun thing, isn't he? Yeah, I knew you would. I knew you would. Huh? Ah, oh, I was hoping for that. I don't care if I'm burning in the sun. Get fucked, Kotal Khan! Why is that- Oh, because he was- I was like, why is that doing hardly any damage? Because he was being healed by the sun. Still, it was doing a fair amount of damage. Nope. Oh, no! Ah, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ah, ee. Ah, come on. Oh, that's a low, isn't it? I need to learn- Oh, what am I doing? Get off me. No. No. Yes. Oh, why do I try and trade against Kotal Khans when they've got that? What? I was holding block, but I think... I think because I was backdashing at the time, it didn't block. God damn it. That was a good fight, though. That was a good fight. I hate fighting Kotal Khan. 
I hate fighting Kano. I hate fighting Jade and Scarlet. Um, I guess I hate fighting Cetrion too. Everyone's out there going, oh, I hate fighting Liu Kang and Scorpion. And I'm like, I'll take Liu Kang and Scorpion over that list I just uh, named. Collector, Kotokan, and Kano. They're all, like, low tier, and I am garbage against all of them. I, I don't know why. Well, match-up unfamiliarity, I, I, I assume. Um, but, like, how fucking much do I have to fight these people to get match-up familiarity? It's just Collector. He just He's like, I'll do a low poke and then start throwing six limbs at you. It's like, when does it stop? Oh, yeah, and you can also mix it up into a high or a low. I jumped in the air, and while I was in the air, I started holding... Oh, my God, it worked. But the rest of the combo didn't come out. Man, I love... Oh, I love this. I love the sheer lack of uh, him doing what I'm telling him to. Hmm, okay. Ow. I actually blocked low that time for a change. Look, <laughs> get that out of that sunshine. Uh, how does he know? And of course, my throw tech. Get over there. Stop healing yourself, you goddamn punk. Oh my god, I didn't do the blade charge because I figured he blocked it last time. He's going to know now to block it. So I didn't do it. And of course, he didn't block it. And then he got me with a combo. Fucking hell. Oh, I get it. Blade charge. Uh, blade charge is garbage. <laughs> I wanted to get him with it. I'm just being really bad in this fight. Oh, fuck off out of that sunlight, will you? I mean, the fight had just started, so he wasn't really getting any health back. Now he's getting health back. Fuck. Oh, my... Why not my fucking text work, man? I knew he was going to throw me. That's why I started spamming triangle, and it still wasn't enough. What do I have to do to tech people on this fucking game, mate? Pressing the right button at the right time apparently isn't enough. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do in the previous round, but it didn't work. Fuck you. I thought to myself, when he gets up, like, he doesn't have any meter, so he can't get up and do, like, a wake-up. I didn't think he was going to get up and do a fucking fatal blow. Does it work when I do it? Get fucked, Kotal Khan. Yeah, get fucked. I'm, even though that crushing blow was unnecessary, I'm glad it happened, because that, that crushing blow is not an easy one to get. And it was a good way to bring back the, the win. Okay. Okay, just can't get near... Okay, well, look. All he wants to do is stay away and be a pussy now, hiding in his little sun that heals him. Cool, man. Of course, that move beats my move. Of course, it beats everything. Why wouldn't it beat my move? Again. Okay, cool. I mean, that's more understandable that time, because he was a lot closer. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. You can't jump over it? Okay, good to know. Good to know. I didn't try to jump over it. I tried to jump just in general towards him. Also, I jumped... When, he, uh, when I saw him get his sword out, I went up and left, and Baraka went... Nah, I'm just gonna stand here and eat this. I'm just gonna stand here and eat it. Oh, cool! Cool, man! It's so awesome when Baraka just whiffs everything. God damn it. Ooh, brutality. Does it ever end? Brutality. That was a really shit brutality, actually. I thought it was going to be awesome. I thought it was going to be like, you know, he tears off the head or something like that, but he just goes chomp, chomp, chomp. That's it. That was a really shit brutality. Cool wind pose, though. Okay, I'm tired of fighting people who just run away and heal themselves. Fuck this. Select new opponent. Fuck that shit, mate. God, it was so frustrating when I was like... I kept... Whenever there was distance, I would dash forward and do blade charge. 
And I did it loads of times throughout the match. And then he started blocking it. He, he blocked it. And I was like, okay, now he's wise to it. When I put distance between us, I'm not going to dash and do blade charge because he is expecting it. And then I didn't do that. I tried something else. And then he started pressing buttons and got me. Because of course he got me. Because the, I thought he was going to block, but he didn't. And then he just started pressing buttons. And I was like, ugh. Ugh, I fucking hate fighting Koto Khan, man. You can't... I, my problem with Koto Khan is I keep trying to jump and you can't. You just can't. Because if I jump... Let me see. Costume change. If I jump, I'm either going to get eaten by that cat move or his sword's going to get me. Because that's what happens. I'm, I'm honestly going to say 95% of the time when I try and jump against Koto Khan, I get hit by that sword. And yet, I keep jumping. That's the, that's the most annoying... It, it's not the fact that I keep getting hit by the sword. It's the fact that I keep jumping when I know I shouldn't. Like when I'm fighting Panda, I, I'll, I'll go poke and then throw. I know I shouldn't do that because Panda knows I do it and then he counters me. But I do it anyway because muscle memory is a fucking piece of shit. Hey, uh, I didn't know she had a low fan in this game. That's weird. Okay, I, I didn't know that jumping kick was going to beat Chop Chop. If you fall onto Chop Chop, you should get Chop Chopped, right? Oh, you can... Oh, of course, you can count... A okay. Right, so she can now end that combo with a low or an overhead. Is that right? And I just have to guess? Oh, man, I'm not having fun here. Look at this! Fucking sit still so I can hit you! Everything... Everything... I'm not joking yet. Everything was fine when I had some practice fights. But since I've started recording, Brack has been like... I'm not going to do what you tell me to, and the opponents it puts me against are like, I'm going to do everything I need to do to avoid you. It was... F I should have recorded those practice fights, because that was fun. <laughs> this is not, look. Oh my god, I'm surprised your jump didn't beat my fucking... See? That's the fucking thing, mate. Oh my god. I went to flawless block the low, and she did the overhead, because she, she can now end that combo in a low or an overhead. Sounds fun. And Braca's got like, I suppose he's got a couple of overheads, but he can't. He, he's got no fucking mix-ups like that. I mean, I could start a combo with a low like that. Or I could start a combo with a high that just gets neutral dirt. Oh my god, I hit him with a combo. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky on my part, because I actually, <laughs> I was waiting for the. Uh, fatal blow so I could block it and then do mine and I pressed block right and as soon as he got up he started moving and I let go of block and went to do a fatal blow but my fatal blow didn't come out instead Braca blocked and he blocked her fatal blow because her fatal blow uh, the actual impact of the fatal blow was, was more delayed compared to what I thought it was going to be so there's that yeah you flawless block the the, uh, the punch and you... Oh, man, you blocked that. That makes me sad. You blocked that... That interactable. It's one of my favorites. Oh, of course, Baraka's stubby little T-Rex arms prevented him from getting a combo, even though I successfully blocked what she did. Baraka's like, I've got tiny little stubby T-Rex arms, mate. It doesn't matter if you block what your opponent does. God damn that shit, mate. I was trying to break away for so long and the game goes, no, I'm gonna wait until it's I'm gonna wait until breakaway doesn't help you and then let you do it. Okay. Escape failed. He did the he did the other the, uh, the other throw. Yeah, I really should have just recorded the um I really should have just recorded this practice fights because uh These fights are not good. That fight I had previously was not bad, though. Right, let's try again. Man, it's so fun knowing that this katana can, can turn that combo into an overhead or a low it. It's like, oh my god. My only option is to try and react to the overhead, and I can't do that. It's been proven enough times. I cannot uh, react to shit like that. 
Pardon me. Um, wait, wait. So it can end in an overhead, or it can end into a, lo or it can end in a low into an overhead. That's good to know, I guess. Get over there. Yeah, fuck you, punk. <laughs> oh, that damn wake up. I if you did it when I told you to, Baraka, it would have been a different story, wouldn't it? Oh, I mistimed that. Oh, I was lucky to get away with it though. Mistimed the blade charge there. I got my meter though. I'm starting to seriously run out. <laughs> That's what I like to see. I thought you were going to do the uh, the wake up. I mean, clearly they tried. Oh, the fucking overhead, mate. Because I went low. See, I told you I can't react to that shit. I hate the way their rolls always work against me. My rolls don't do shit. Of course he knows I'm going to do that. He's like, of course I know what you're going to do. Thanks for the chop chop, Baraka. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Kitana. Just chop, slice. See, now I know she can do the old boom, low, low, high. And then either low overhead or just plain overhead. And the overhead is a crushing blow, so. What I have to do is I have to block low. And if I see anything other than her going to do a low fan, let go of down. That's all I gotta do. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Or that or they just don't finish it. They just don't finish it, just to mix it up even more. Have Steve! Uh-oh. Steve didn't work. Yeah, oh, you don't like it, do you? Oh, that was supposed to be Chop Chop. Mm, now I don't have any meter to break away. Crushing blow? No? Okay. Oh, I'm so used. I'm so used to her doing that instead of the that low uh, fan bullshit. Oh, okay. I tried to meet a burn. Use uh, use that that interactable, but the game was like no. Uh oh. Oh no. No. I couldn't do anything then. Gotta take my watch off. It's time to piss me off. I still, man, I really want to know how they're able to be in the air and then they hold down on block so that the second they land, they do a low block and they're able to block whatever I do. But when I'm in the air and I'm holding block and down, as soon as I land, I just eat whatever low move they're doing, even though I'm holding down on block. I fucking backdash to avoid that because I knew it was coming. It was so obvious. I tried to backdash and they were like, no. See, that's. Oh, but then I got. That's what I hate about Katana's fucking up three, mate. I know people. See, look, blocked it. it. I'm like, block, 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 block. Can I punish? Of course not. So annoying. But yeah, people complain about Katana's up three making her go back. But that makes it exceedingly difficult to punish. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. that was I was like, okay. But did you notice that, though? They blocked what I did and then punished it. Did you see that? I jumped in with a jump in one. They blocked it. And then I, that normally gives them enough stun. I'm going to fight someone new. It normally gives them enough stun so I can then throw them. But they were like, block, punish. And I'm like, what does it take to be able to do that? Because I'm all day I'm like block, 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 punish. Doesn't matter what I do, even if it's down one, which is his fastest move. 
still too slow. It's like, God damn. I need to start trying to stagger the 1-1 one, one and 1-1-2. One, one, Thing is, though, like people tell me, oh, you should start staggering 1-1 one, one and 1-1-2. One, one, Here's the problem, though. When I press 1-1, one, one, they neutral duck it and uppercut me. That's what happens. It makes me scared to do 1-1 one, one and 1-1-2. One, one, so fucking annoying. I didn't even realize it had been 20 minutes. I guess th I guess this is the last fight then. Can I have a fun fight? Let's let's see. That was so weird. Fighting, yeah, pick a stage, mate. Fighting Katana with a low fan? I don't know if I've ever done that on this game before. That's weird. Oh, and I've just noticed Collector, my favorite. My favorite, I love fighting Collector. I love it. <laughs> I fucking hate it, so annoying. All right, okay. Let's see if it's possible to have a fun fight against Collector. I'm not sure if it is, but let's see. Are you going to teleport? You are, thank you. Ha he. Ha ho! Or whatever a laugh sounds like. Wow, oh, that move. Hate that so much. Look, it makes it, it pushes me so far away from him. Oh, it, it doesn't matter actually, because even if I block it, I can't punish him, can I? That would be that would be silly thinking that I could block a move and then punish it. Oh, okay. I couldn't block that and then jump. That's weird. There's a lot of there's just a lot of not doing what I'm telling him to. Mm, okay. That was just me being slow. I was like, back away in case he does an up three, and he didn't. And then I went forward, back one. Hmm, okay, yep. At least I'm out. It doesn't matter if I'm out of the corner, does it? Oh no. Why do I do that? Holy shit, is it to punish something? Holy shit, that's the first time today I've gotten that crushing blow on. That's how shit I've been doing. Why would you break away there? Did you think you were going to win this round? I'll take it though. I mean, I'll, I'll take him wasting his meter. I don't care. Okay, jump away because he's going to do something that's faster than whatever I can do. There we go. Bonk, and he can't do... Oh, he could. He got his meter back just in time. Now he can't, though. And I didn't know that was going to be a crushing blow. Which is why you got to always hold L1, because sometimes you just don't know if you've locked and loaded. Look at this. I blocked a move and then punished it with forward four. Uh, it is possible. I thought I dreamed that it used to be possible. Oh, mate, I went for the, the uh, throw uh, brutality. Once I put him in the corner, it was kind of over. Yes. Okay, well, that was many. No, don't do this. He did it. I fucking knew he would, mate. I knew he would. This happens so often to me. I get him down to, like, one hit of death, and then they just come back. I can't... I had so much health as well. So much. That fight was just mine to lose. It, it was a good fight, though. Just mine to lose. Bosh. I like that fatality. Fucking, he just, that's that. Right there. That's why I hate Collector. Because he's like, I'm just going to start throwing limbs at you and you don't know when it's going to stop. It's like, okay, cool. Cool. God, that was mine to lose. I threw it a fucking way. You know why, though? Let me do quit to online menu. Because there was, uh, when I did the up two off the floor and it hit him. I was like, that's it, I've won. Because all i got to do is forward four, down back three. And he goes knee into chop chop, and that would have been a brutality. Except the chop chop didn't come out. Which is, as I've been saying, since the beginning of season three, some moves just don't happen half the time. Like, I used to be able to do forward two into slide with sub-zero 100% of the time without issue. And now it's a, it's a, it's a crapshoot. It's a, it's a roll of the dice as to whether or not he's going to do it online. Because I go into practice mode every time, without fail. 
I do it online. Forward 2, back forward X. And it goes, hmm, will I though? And the same with Baraka. I used to be able to do forward 4 into Chop Chop all the time, 100%, not a problem. Now, sometimes it just, just doesn't happen. You press forward 4, down back X, and it goes, nah, I'm not going to do down back X. And if it had that time, I would have won. Because it was going to finish him off with that last bit of health and do a brutality. But because that didn't happen, he was then able to launch a crazy comeback and defeat me. Excellent. But it was a good fight, though. Had fun. So, yes, excellent. So thank you very much, for, uh, fellow friends, for sticking through this extra long video. I'm sure it was hard to get through. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and all the fucking shit that people want you to do. I don't know. Feels kind of gross just always going like, don't forget to like and subscribe, but it's got to be done, isn't it? Because some people need reminding. I mean, there's I've been watching Rhett and Link videos before in the past, and I'll be like, you know, watching the... And normally I'll hit like on their videos or whatever, but like sometimes I might forget. And I'll be watching the video. And then at the end, they're like, oh, thanks for liking and subscribing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, I didn't like. So, yeah, sometimes you do need a reminder. Um, go follow me on Twitch. Fuck off.